With military enlistment becoming a hot topic amongst K-pop fans lately, there hasn't been enough conversation about the horrible things idols go through during their time in the military. From invasion of privacy to straight up being used by their superiors, here's all about the tragic life of male idols in the military. As all K-pop fans are aware, all male idols that are between the ages of 18 and 28 are required to complete the mandatory military service for an average of 18 months. Though when enlistment is mentioned, fans in the public are generally more worried about how the fact that the idol will be absent for 18 months will affect their career. Nearly two years without releasing anything and having minimal contact with fans is going to negatively impact their careers in some way or another. However, there's an even bigger problem that everyone should address, and that's the hardships idols face during their enlistment. One of the most prominent examples of this is Taemin's case. Taemin enlisted on May 31st, 2021, and for the first few weeks, there weren't a lot of updates on him. In August, though, among other things, he shared that in the military, Military, everyone showers together at the same time, which was expected. He said that since he's an idol, everyone stared at him whenever he got into a shower, so he needed to change his showering time. There were also rumors that people tried to take pictures of him while he was showering and leak them online. This, of course, worried fans to no end, but things only got worse from there. On January 14th of this year, it was reported that Chinese Taemin was suffering from depression and anxiety. They started the statement by saying, as of January 14th, Taemin has been transferred from the military ban to supplementary service. Then, as some went on to say that the transfer happened because of Taemin's worsening mental health. They wrote, Due to the symptoms of depression and anxiety that Taemin has been suffering from before his enlistment, he continued to receive treatment and therapy even while carrying out his service. However, because his symptoms recently worsened, the military determined that it had become impossible for him to continue his military life and treatment at the same time, and he was accordingly transferred to supplementary service. A colleague from the military center also shared that Taemin had brought a lot of medication with him, saying, Starting from the basic training, he brought a lot of depression medication, and he would be issued the medication every evening during dinner time. Every time it was difficult for him, he tried to stay positive and bright since he's in front of younger colleagues, and he would play with us a lot too. This brought back the rumors that he was being severely mistreated at the base. On the coup, an anonymous source revealed that when Taemin arrived at the base, the soldiers would line up to ask for his autograph. Whenever he went out to eat, dozens of people people stared at him and whispered in each other's ears whenever he would walk by. These are just rumors, but again, every normal person wouldn't feel all that great about being treated like a zoo animal with people staring at you and watching your every move. Reasonably so, SM didn't go into much detail about what had caused his condition to become worse, but fans speculated that it might have been because of what was going on in the military base. Unfortunately, Taemin's case isn't the first of this kind. In the past, it has been alleged that whenever Pekyun would shower, the other soldiers would take pictures of Pekyon and stare at him openly. This led to him showering separately from the rest of the soldiers as he was concerned that they would even start taking pictures of him. There are even times when fans end up wishing that idols are stalked by the other soldiers so these people can then sell private information or pictures. Super Junior's Kyuhyun also opened up publicly about going through the same thing. When he appeared on an episode of Ask Us Anything in 2019, he revealed that the hardest thing about the military was showering. He said, Actually, going through training and living together with all the other recruits wasn't hard at all, but when you shower at the training center, you all shower together. About 100 to 200 people will hit the showers at the same time. He continued saying that the guys in his unit were pretty considerate as they left a spot in the corner empty for him so he could shower in peace, though there were occasions that this was impossible. Kyuhyun shared, However, there were occasionally times when other people were already there showering when we arrived, so since there wasn't any space in the corners, I just wash up in the middle. And honestly, it was just us guys, so it was no big deal. The fact that he was showering showering in front of so many people wasn't a problem. The problem was with how people were treating him. He explained, I'd hear the sound of people talking all the way from the entrance. Hey, I heard Kyuhyun's here. Let's go see Kyuhyun. I'd hear them talking from the moment they came in. Then about 20 or 30 people would keep walking back and forth past me, sneaking glances while pretending not to look. He also shared that he definitely isn't the only celebrity to have gone through this, as he had heard of similar experiences from his fellow colleagues. He said, I thought that I was the only one who had gone through that suffering, but I learned that countless other celebrities have experienced the same thing. One person told me that he didn't shower for three days because of it. Who knows just how many idols went through the same thing without ever telling anyone about their experience. It's devastating. Another person who opened up about his horrible time in the military is Kyuhyun's bandmate, Lee Tuk, though his experience had to do with his superiors misusing their power over him. There were several instances where high-ranking officers pressured him to MC at family events, and another time where he was woken up at midnight 
tried to shoot a personal video so the soldiers could send it to their family members who were fans of him. It got even worse when he was forced to call a female idol by his superior. Since he didn't have her number, he had to call up Eunhyuk to ask for it and Ethuk had to hang up without saying goodbye. It didn't help that at that time, Ethuk was going through something horrible so his mental health only worsened. While he was serving, his father took the life of Ethuk's grandparents and then himself. Having to deal with your entitled superiors having no regard for your boundaries or privacy on top of a horrific event like this must have been a lot. Eunhyuk was also a victim of this as when he was in the military, Korean fans used to find other fans claiming that their relative, who they claimed to be a high-ranking soldier in the military, would make Eunhyuk FaceTime them. Another case of just how badly idols get treated by their peers in the military is that of G-Dragon. He enlisted in February of 2018 but faced a lot of trouble regarding his privacy. On June 25th, a dispatch released a report in which they accused G-Dragon of receiving unfair preferential treatment. With this report, they also leaked his medical records, which contained a lot of personal information. The Ministry of National Defense had to come out themselves and said that he was placed in a single room because of his privacy, not because he was getting preferential treatment. Then, a detailed diagram of G-Dragon's body spread around on online communities. The diagram included not only body features like moles and tattoos, but also personal information like lifestyle behavior, habits, and even his medication. Believe it or not, the soldier also wrote down the brand of watches he wore down to what size underwear and shoes he wears. The person who created the diagram seemed to have made it to share it with his girlfriend, as on top of the illustration, you can see the words, I thought you would be curious, so let me tell you what I've observed so far. Netizens called out this disgusting behavior on multiple posts and comments on online communities. They wrote, how is he handling all this? I would seriously develop a mental disorder. He's not an animal at a zoo. What is there to observe? Another question why the media was twisting the story into something it definitely wasn't and turning the public against him. They said, G-Dragon wanted to be protected from all these privacy violations. The press took that and ran with it, saying that he got preferential treatment. Who is at fault here? So not only did he take measures to prevent this from happening, but he was also villainized by the media and netizens for doing so. If that wasn't enough, his belongings were often stolen, he was constantly filmed and photographed without consent, and with the press constantly digging for his private information, the military physician had revealed his medical records without consent. Even with all of these, he still had a good relationship with everyone. In fact, he used to give fellow soldiers his black card and allow them to buy anything they wanted with it. The card was available for use anytime they wanted. But these bad things, unfortunately, aren't things that only happen to idols. Superiors misusing their powers to hurt and order other soldiers around, soldiers hurting others and touching them inappropriately, isn't exactly new, but there has been reforms to change issues like this. However, idols still get treated horribly. For some reason, people seem to forget that idols are still people no matter how famous they are. Nobody deserves to have their privacy invaded to such disgusting levels just because they're known. What are your thoughts on this? Share them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!